So meanwhile, it's all just everywhere. Seriously, wish me luck. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. It is a bomb. I think I have totally bitten off more than I can chew. So this is the beginning of the main floor makeover and you guys already saw I got everything out of here but now there's stuff in here because this stuff's going to the theater and there's stuff going needing to be put outside from the theater and we're doing Trey's room makeover. We're doing Janie's room makeover, the theater room makeover. We're, Benji wants to film the garage room makeover. I mean, we're going crazy. So meanwhile, it's all just everywhere. Seriously, wish me luck. <sighs> okay guys, we're on our first shopping trip to redo our main floor. Say hi, Cass. And we are gonna go in here and see if we can find any cute couches or pieces that would work. Hey, hey guys. guys! Welcome back to Not Enough Nelson. We have got a treat for you today. The video you've been waiting for. I'm so excited to be able to show you my main floor house tour. Guys, it looks amazing. <laughs> I've been working so hard. Me and Benji have been like, anyway, we will show you. We have redone a ton of stuff. As you remember in this video right here, we like removed everything from our main floor and we have done a ton of work. And if you remember our house tour last year, which is right here, you can compare what we did from that house tour to this house tour. We have done a ton of new things. Our family is so psyched to be able to have the whole main floor done. There's been tons of things like we've lived here for five years that we just haven't ever finished. And so now everything's finished. I'm super excited. Complete. Yay! So here we go. Okay, ready? ready? You want to go in? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the Not Enough Nelson's house remodel. This is our new entry. So first we have this huge wood picture of our whole entire family. As you can see, well, maybe you can't see. Just come a little closer. A little closer. You can see I'm the only one that got their face caught up. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Everyone else looks great. No matter where it ended up, one person had to have their face. So cut. you chose me. And pretty much the only one. Well, Janie got like her chin, but yeah, pretty much Cass. Sorry, Cass. But boy, look how cute it looks from far away. Okay, hey, it's Valentine's Day, so Mom added touches of pink, these beautiful flowers. It looks so good and smells yummy. So Benji played high school and college sports and he now coaches high school and so he has tons of fun trophies that he's earned over the years. Then as you turn the hallway from the entrance, I kept my picture. Guys, this was like the first piece of art that me and Benji could afford to buy. So I didn't have the heart to sell it. So I kept my piece of art here. And then we added these doors. This used to be kind of like a pass-through. And even when I first designed it, I wanted this to be kind of like a place where we open and put our chargers and all of that kind of stuff when we got home with our mail. And now I finally have it, which I'm so excited about. And then I got this for the end of the hallway. I love it. It's kind of like a wood carving piece. And the half bath, we didn't do much besides add a touch of pink for Valentine's Day. Okay guys, this is my favorite room in the entire house and you're gonna see why. This is the puppy room! <laughs> well for now. Temporarily the puppy 
behind you. Oh, hi guys, hi guys. They're just wrestling, they're so cute. Oh. I don't want them to leave, they have to leave so soon. They're so cute and they're all going to be going to their new home in one week. I'm gonna cry. You guys have to see who's leaving and who's staying. I know, I don't know. These guys are trying to get me to keep one or two, and I don't know, I can't decide. <laughs> okay, so this is supposed to be my mom's office, but right now it's the family room until, you know, they go to their new homes. All right, guys, let's go check out the new family room. And we have our way through the stairs, and the stairs go way up. So we're excited to show you the rest of our house. So we have these beautiful stairs, and then we keep this puppy gate because we don't want all the puppies going upstairs because they're not really good potty trained. Moving on to this beautiful room. This is probably one of my favorite rooms. It just looks so elegant and pretty. Um, the piano room, my mom plays her own songs on the piano, but other than that, no one really plays piano a lot. And JD started playing piano too last year. I forgot about that. Um, I love these beautiful drapes. I love the plant. I just feel like it looks super pretty. And then those big candlesticks over there are just super elegant. And outside of the piano room is our family room. I love how cozy our family room is. I, I've always wanted a really cozy family room with our family and now we have one so I'd be really happy about that. Can you tell that my mom likes throw pillows you guys? Like holy cow. Also um, over here we have a basket full of a bunch of these Minky Couture blankets. The softest blankets ever. We're doing a giveaway on our Instagram so go check out that giveaway and follow us on Instagram. Um, then it comes to this. Now does this not look completely different? You guys are going to have to see it the before and after because we have all these built in cabinets. They're so pretty. We have a frame key of our huge family, um, a, a statue of our savior because he is the most important thing. So I love having this in my parents' home as well. Um, fireplace, you guys, this is a huge transformation. It's so pretty. Family, and did you guys notice the cute puppy I'm holding? Ah, uh, okay. Anyways, so I love this room. It's for when we have like big like holidays or something. We always eat dinner in here. It feels really fancy, really nice. Um, my mom made this look so cute. Um, it looks totally different because she added all these fun curtains. So I love that my mom added these gold details to her house. I feel like they just gave it such a perfect trendy touch. which is the kitchen. So first we'll look at this. So I have some fun things I planted here, some succulents, some hydrangeas, some like herbs for when we cook. So that's fun, I love that area. And then we'll move over to here, redone this area. So my cabinets were actually getting kind of cracks on them um, from the beginning when we moved in for some reason. And so I had them repainted and I had new handles and knobs put on in the gold. And I love, love how that looks together. And then I got new countertops, if you can tell the difference. So if you look at our other house tour videos, you will see our countertops used to be kind of like a dark black speckly with gray. And we did a coating on top of them that I love. It's like a marble kind of coating. It's really cool. And so an artist came, he's amazing, and he came and literally did this by hand, and it looks awesome. And then we redid the fixtures in gold and just more gold accents. And so I love the new changes. Our faucets are gold, super fun. And if you're wondering why I can have cream rugs in the kitchen is because guys, these are ruggables. And this is, again, this is not a plug. This is like literally my favorite thing in the world because when kids spill on them or anything, you just pull it up and you throw it in your washer and put it back down. It's that easy. So. Love the ruggables, and so I was able to put them in my kitchen even with 16 kids. So I kind of redid a few things on my cooktop. This is super fun. Little 
lazy Susan with cute stuff on it, but this is one of my favorite new things that we got. So from the beginning, guys, I wanted to do what's called like a salad bar, and I've been waiting and waiting, and finally I was able to get it, and so this is it, and it has these two front refrigerators that can hold all of our vegetables and fruits, and then look how fun this is. So after kids get home from school, and they want to have a salad bar or a sandwich, I need to fill more of those, but there's like a little, area for them to do that and they can prepare their sandwich right here. I'm so excited to have this. So we just got that in, which is so fun. in the after school routine. This is where the kids come after school to get their snacks and I have one fun new addition I'm so excited about. So this now has a drink, like a water and ice maker dispenser. Pebble so ice maker. So a pebble ice maker and water dispenser. So, cause our fridge just wasn't doing enough and we always ran out of ice. And this way we have the yummy ice that crunches and it's right here behind this door. I'm so excited about that. And I really wanted to have that Again, like five years ago when we built the house, had all the hookups there, never did it, finally did it, so happy about that. And we got another frame TV up there to have our family picture always up there, which is super fun. Now over to the table. So you know our table and our Lazy Susan, you guys have seen that in a ton of videos, but this helps us, you guys, distribute food so much easier with a large family. I was able to add a bunch of pillows. I know you guys always ask, how do you have so many pillows or why do you have so many pillows? because it's an inexpensive way to bring a lot of warmth and comfort, I have found, and so I do have a ton of pillows. And if they wreck them or if they ruin them, I can usually just unzip them, throw it in the wash, and put it back on. Also, you'll notice I got my chairs recovered, and so this is fun, and all these have been um, stain treated, and so they've been really good at holding up. I've got a couple of them in vinyl. Um, as you see, our stools match our chairs, and so this is super fun to have these big chunky stools over here on our island. Anyway, I just love how this has all come together. And last, but really the hardest working room in the house is our mudroom. The mudroom, this is the hardest working room because each of the kids' lockers are in here. They put all their schoolwork in up, all their shoes, all their coats, all their backpacks, everything. And we have our jurisdiction chart, our um, new and improved jurisdiction chart. And so the kids all have their jobs on here that they do every single day, the jurisdiction that they're in charge of. A lot of you guys have asked what a jurisdiction is, so I'll quickly explain. Each of the kids get assigned an area that they are over that jurisdiction. And so they clean it, make sure it's clean all the time, and when someone leaves something out in someone's jurisdiction, they have the rights to give a ticket. And once they've gotten three tickets, they go to what's called mom gel, which is they, they help me kind of like deep clean an area that takes about an hour. And so Kids don't generally like to be in mom gel, so they pick up after themselves and they do not want to get tickets. So anyway, that's what jurisdictions are about. That's our job chart. And this is the last room on the main floor. Uh, We're done. <laughs> so there you go. That shows you all the fun stuff, as you can see, that we have done. It's a really good angle. I literally, I need to take a nap now because we have worked so hard a couple of weeks. That's all this lay down. So you want to do the outro? All right. Taking a nap. <laughs> let you know. Monday, you guys, we are doing a third full house tour. That is a huge video that you guys have been waiting very if long I time for. If I can for. finish it, Thank I have so you. much to do still up there. I know. Oh my gosh. We'll try. And guys, literally, as you know, like from my other house tour, it was clean for all of five minutes, I swear. And so I think next weekend I'm going to show them a messy floor house tour of you guys our entire see it? house. Give this video a thumbs up if really you want to see a messy house tour. Because that's really how it usually looks. Thanks so much for watching.